Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a staging website with Kinsta. We're gonna make some changes in the staging site and push them to the live site. I'm gonna tell you about a couple caveats that you need to know when you use this feature so you don't overwrite anything that you don't mean to. So let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. We're gonna be working with my video production company that I own with my, uh, my best friend, Swamp View Studios. It is at swampview.com, and this is a WordPress website that I have hosted with Kinsta. So I'm just going to log into my Kinsta dashboard here. And as you can see, I have one of my sites, Swamp View. And if we go to the info section, uh, you'll see all that information here. And under the domains, you'll see that we have swampview.com. So how easy is it to make a staging site? It's very easy. Kinsta makes it super easy. If you just come up here to the upper right hand corner, change environment. Right now we have the live environment, select it. If we click on the staging environment, uh, it's literally one click. You click on create a staging environment. And this process takes maybe like two to three minutes or it could be longer if your site is really big. Uh, but when what it's actually doing in the background is it's creating a subdomain for your uh, staging site. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's also going to copy your entire WordPress website right now as it exists all the images, the pictures, your blog posts, your pages, and the database into the staging site. So that way you can kind of have a sandbox here where we can make some changes, test things out, and if we like our changes, then we can push them back to the production website. So instead of sitting here and waiting for this to finish, I'll just pause the video and catch back up with you in a couple minutes. Okay guys, I'm back just a couple minutes later and we can see now that our staging environment has been created for us. So if you remember up here, we were in the live environment before, now we have selected the staging environment and we can see that domain name that it created for us. So if we open that URL, we will see uh, in this tab, our staging website and in this tab, our production website. So what I'm gonna to do to demonstrate the ability to make a change on our staging website and push it to our live website, I'm gonna log in here to the WordPress admin dashboard. And what I'm gonna do is uh, make a change. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, I'm logged into the WordPress admin dashboard. I'm gonna make a change on the front page so it's very obvious what that change is. So I'm gonna go into my pages section here and this is the front page here. So I'll edit that with Elementor. And um, the actual name of this company is Swamp View Productions, but I just made a quick change before this video to call it Swamp View Studios, just so that um, you know we can change that, see the difference here. So what I'm gonna do is change this from Swamp View Studios to Swamp View Productions and update that. So this is updating the staging website as a reminder. So if we get rid of all this and just go to our actual staging website, we will see that uh, this is called Swamp View Productions on the staging site and the live website is called Swamp View Studios. So that is, uh, and we're, we're gonna push these changes in a second, but I also wanna show you that what you have to be careful about with the staging website is when we push these changes from the staging site to the production site, the live site, anything that has changed on the live website will be overwritten. So I'm gonna demonstrate how that works and why you have to be careful. So let's go to the live website and I'm gonna to go to the blog here and just pick one of these uh, blog posts that we have, how to sell your used camera. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a comment on this. I'm gonna say, hey guys, great blog posts, you know, something like that. So this, again, this is on the live website. I have this one comment on here, but the thing we're gonna look for when we push from staging to production is the fact that this will disappear because we're literally overriding the production website with the contents of the staging website. So let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, we'll come back into Kinsta dashboard. And if you're satisfied with your changes, we can come in here and go to the info section and we have this option over here, right at the top, pushing your staging site to live will overwrite your live site, just like I said. And um, they're gonna make a backup of it, so if something does go wrong, or if you notice that there were comments or something else that you need to go back to, you can always revert back to that backup. So um, let's go ahead and demonstrate this though. Push to staging, push staging to live. It explains what we're gonna do, and it needs you to confirm that by typing in the name of your website. I'll click on the push to live button. And just like before, this will take a couple of minutes. So rather than waiting through this process, I will catch up with you when it finishes. Okay guys, I'm back. The changes have been pushed from staging to the live website. Let's see what happened here. So we'll go to the live website domain name. And actually, since we're here still, um, we'll go down and 
I haven't refreshed the page, but when we refresh the page, we should see that this uh, this comment goes away. So I'm just gonna go to this blog post, how to sell your used camera, refresh the page, and let's see what happens. That comment has been gone because this entire page has been overwritten by what it looked like in the staging website. Let's go to the homepage though to see if our change has been pushed here. And it has, instead of seeing Swamp View Studios as it was before, it now says Swamp View Production. So it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It changes, it takes the changes of your um, staging site and pushes it to the production site. Uh, but there might be those side effects like with the comments being overwritten that you might not be aware of. And um, I just wanna make you guys aware of them in this video. So if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I have some other video over here which will help you if you don't use Kinsta how to set up a staging site manually. So check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.